Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide starting week two here in Stardew Valley. It's Monday, it's early, let's check out the TV. What kind of weather we got? Sunny tomorrow, okay. Living off the land, what can we learn? Fences. Fences are good for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down, but stone, iron, and hardwood fences last a lot longer than basic wood. This is a good tip. So if you have weeds encroaching on your farm, you can fence it in to prevent that. Now I'm going to give you another tip, which is you can also simply just build a path around your farm and it doesn't impede movement like a fence, but it will also stop the weeds from growing, at least as far as I know. Uh, the fortune teller says little extra luck today. All right, fair enough. And we got some mail. What's this? Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. They can be placed all over the farm and they serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. So it's 75 stones and a thousand gold if we want one. And that's nice of her to solicit her own services. Um, but also, we don't need it right now. You could build a well if you want, if you, particularly if you have a, like a giant farm. Um, but right now we have an easy place to water and fill. Oh dear goodness, I just destroyed one of my crops accidentally because I, I pushed the button too many times to switch to my watering can. And that's sad. That's just like setting money on fire. That's a little Stardew Valley don't do that in the tutorial. Always be sure you have the right tool selected. Otherwise, you're going to use a pickaxe on your crop and you're going to feel terrible about it. At least I do. All right. Let's get this stuff watered. Oh boy, the double water. There we go. Looking good. Scarecrow's working it. All right, let's fill up our can. Okay. So let's check out our quest. Initiation says um, we can go to the Adventurer's Guild if we want to. We have a quest for slaying six green slimes, and we did it. So we just need to talk to Lewis about this. Um, so let's go... Make sure that we get this before you finish your quest. Always check these quests that have a clock on them because they're timed. And you can see how it says this is a final day for this quest. So if we don't tell Lewis that we did this, um, we won't get the cash. Uh, we need to craft a furnace. We will do that. Reach level 40 in the mines. Mm, don't think so. And build a coop. Okay. So we've got the stuff watered. Let's go into town. Let's accost Mayor Lewis about our money. Uh, but first, I'm going to pick up these dandelions. Oh, my inventory. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Let's empty all this stuff out. All right. And we'll just kind of add... Oh, look at this. We've got some community center items. And spring crops bundle is chiming up. No, it's not this one. It's... Here. We have in our midst some community center stuff. I think it's forage. Is that what it is? Artisan. Animal. What do we have that they're telling us about? Anyway. Um, oh, stone. Oh, yeah, stone is a community center thing. That's right. It's just telling us when we mouse over stone that we can turn in stone. You need to turn in a lot of stone, but you can Let's go ahead and put everything in there. And then I'm going to dump in this slime, this quartz. Now we did get a, quote, better weapon than our rusty sword, uh, which is this dagger. And so, you know, it's theoretically better, but I'm not going to use it. I like the sword better. I'm going to put this back like this. Now let's go into town. Our inventory is full again because we just don't have a bag. Your life will change for the better when you can afford a bag, and we want to do that. We could actually beeline to that if we wanted. I just love picking up all the forage because it raises our skill. Alright, 
So Mayor Lewis is usually out by his house, like working on his garden. Let's see if we can find this dude. He's not, so maybe he's in his house. He is. Hey! So you talk to him and he says, So you helped me with our slime problem. Thank you. I hope you didn't go through too much trouble. I know it could be really hard to get that sticky slime out of your clothes. All right, Lewis. We didn't need to talk about your sticky slime problems. I've definitely ruined a few good pairs of pants trying to catch those little wigglers. I'd love to see... It's like, does he really go into the mines? We'll see. I remember Mama throwing a fit after I got silvery slime all over my brand new silk pants. Silk pants probably aren't the best for cave digging. Um, anyway, enjoy your reward. Thank you. All right, so you got to go into your quests. You got to go slay monsters and then click on the money and look at it just roll in. The town's lost and found box. Pelican Town ledger book. And he uses this to keep track of the... The town's finances. I bet you do. All right. Okay, so now we could go to the Adventurer's Guild. We could also pick up that daffodil. You can talk to Marnie and be like, hey, what's up? I love animals, Mr. Doctor Incompetent Tutorial. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. Speaking of good friends, would you like um, a flower? Thank you. This looks nice. Yeah, she's like, eh. We got a new quest. Um, she wants seaweed, and she'll give us 60 gold. And it'll make her happy. So, fine. We can get Caroline some seaweed. No problem. You can check on this backpack, and it is 2,000 gold. So, you know, 25% of the way. <laughs> it's going to take a while. So, in the meantime, seaweed. Well, we can go down and get, try to find some. Sure. Oh, another daffodil. Who's this? Penny, hi. Here, Penny, you want a uh, daffodil? Thanks, this looks nice. She's like, eh. Didn't really move the needle. And you can always remember, just push Stark over to your um, relationships tab. And then Penny, we gave her a gift and she liked the leak. And this was a normal gift. So she's like, ah. Sometimes you have to get something a little nicer for these people. All right. Seaweed. Easiest way to get seaweed is to just fish. catch it and like you know that didn't go well we're fishing without bait oh boy let's try this again I'm pushing the A button to, to reel it in, and that's not the right button to push. You do everything with the X button on the controller. Alright, this is not seaweed, unfortunately. It's an actual fish. It's a sardine. You can also just find seaweed sometimes laying on the shore. Come on, seaweed. Now there's a treasure chest, which would be great to somehow get. Oh, we got it. That was lucky. And what did we get in the treasure? Coal. That's kind of a hit below the belt. I'm going to just cast like a, as minimally as possible to try to get some seaweed. Okay, well, there's treasure again. We got it. We can almost get this fish. Got it. 
That's another anchovy, and what's the treasure? We can get some bait and some wood. You know, both of these are pretty good. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, throw away this silver quality anchovy. It's not great. Gold quality you want to hold on to. Silver quality, eh, okay, sure. Now with bait, what you can do is you can go to your fishing rod, and you can actually um, pick this up and then put it on your fishing rod. All right, that was funny. I kept trying to attach the bait. You can't attach bait to the bamboo pole. That's right. I forgot about that. It's the worst pole. It doesn't start with a bait slot. You need to get a fiberglass or you need to get a better pole basically to attach that bait. So sad but true. All right. So this might not be the best way for us to catch seaweed, but it is a good way for us to raise our fishing skill. Boy, this fish is really staying on. Oh, boy. Giving us trouble is this fish. There we go. It's a big one. It's a flounder. It's our first time catching it. So we'll take the flounder. Um, actually, I'll take it instead of this bait. Because bait's easy to get. It's cheap. And let's bail could look for seaweed, but it's really, really hard to do a lot of this stuff at the beginning without having um, a, a bag to hold your stuff. You know, the inventory is just so small at the start, but that's okay. So we turned in the quest. We got the money. We did a little fishing. We did some foraging. We gave some gifts. We're going to head back and let's build that furnace. Let's Let's get into that. Clint will be happy, and we can start upgrading our tools. It's a big deal to upgrade your tools and your backpack. Upgrading your tools to metal will um, allow you to just do everything more efficiently and allow you to harvest new resources that you otherwise couldn't access with the bad stuff. So let me go over here to this chest that we've built. Just dump everything in. And that, there is a home for everything except for this flounder, which we'll put in. All right, so if we want to build a furnace, we just push start. We go to the crafting screen. And we say, okay, we want to make a furnace. Now, furnace is right here. It takes 20 copper ore and 25 stone. So if we look in our inventory, we actually have um, enough stuff to do this. So let's make it. I'm going to build a furnace, and this will get a quest done for us. I'm going to then place this furnace, and you can put it wherever you want. I'm just going to build a little area for the furnace right here. This is fine. Okay, and then um, we can move that little cursor out of the way. And you can put this, okay, take your ore and put it in there, but it needs coal. So we can't burn or melt anything without fuel, but luckily we do have some coal. So we take this out, and we can put this in here. And each piece that you put in takes one piece of coal, and it can only take one at a time. So it's really smart when you're able to, to build a bunch of furnaces. Let's take this quest, and he, he wants us to smelt a copper bar, which we're trying to do. It just takes time. So another thing we can do is just go up and check out the Adventurer's Guild, see if we can make it there. Linus, what is up? Okay, and let's see. We'll move past the mine, and over here, this building is the Adventurer's Guild. It's just to the east of the mine, and you come in, and they say, Greetings, and you can buy some equipment here. So this gives you plus one defense, these sneakers, and this does three to seven damage, and if you compare the wooden blade to what we have, um, which you actually will do like this, uh, 
that wooden blade is an improvement over our rusty sword. And if you look at our paper doll, you see we have a slots right here for two rings, a pair of footwear, and a hat. And we don't have anything, so we could actually buy those sneakers and improve our defense, and buy the sword and improve our offense, but it's not that great. And you can also buy these rings to help you out, but they're very expensive. And you could talk to this dude, Gil. Come back when you got something to show me, kid. And what's he want you to show? Check this out. This is like a list of your accomplishments. And generally, whenever you complete any of these accomplishments, if you kill like a thousand slimes or 125 cave insects, for example, you can see how many you've done in the left column and how many the goal is in the right column. And if you don't haven't encountered the monster type or killed any, um, then it won't show up here. We need to kill 60 rock crabs, for example. Then you could talk to this guy and he'll be all impressed um, with what you've done. He might give you something as a reward. So, you know, you can sell equipment to this dude. You can't sell equipment um, to Pierre, I don't believe, but you could sell equipment. So that dagger we found back at our house, if we don't want that, you could sell it. I like to, for some reason, just keep one of everything in the game, just to have it for like a collection's sake, but you could certainly sell it. Now this river is bone dry. I mean, quite bone dry. There's bones at the bottom and you can't get across the bridge right now. But you know what we can do is go down to the mines. And it's 6 p.m. already, so it's not great. But we could just head down there. And what do we leave up here? We left all these seeds. That's right. We need to get these planted. My goodness, I forgot. Coal. Um, oh, let's take this to the museum. Yes, yes, yes. Boy, there's a bunch of things we need to do. Now, it's too late for Gunther at the museum. But I want to get these seeds in the ground instead of working at the mine. There's some coal here, too. The copper should be done when we get home. Oh, by the way, um, I believe... Let me look at the copper situation again. Before I uh, clarify this, but... Here we go. Let's go down. Yep, there's the copper bar. Now watch this. Um, let me open this up put stuff in here let me take out some copper and uh this coal i'm gonna pick this up okay i have nine copper right i picked this up i got the bar but it takes five p it's not one to one i misspoke it takes five pieces of copper and one coal to make a bar so generally you need five pieces of the ore plus uh coal to make what you're looking for so we did make the copper and um we finished the quest so, that doesn't do anything right now, but usually if, if you quest like that, and you complete it, and nothing happens, um, then you'll get a letter about it. Let's get these seeds in the ground. These are random springtime seeds, so this is the right season to plant them, and let's just plant as many as we possibly can. Or if we need to get some more space, we just got to go to our hoe and just till the earth like that. And then we can plant the rest of these. There we go. We are missing one. So let me just kind of get this going. And we'll plant this right here. And then we need to water it. So we can get this. This is a big influx of cash for us once we get all these crops in because the seeds were free. And you can use this in conjunction with some quest rewards and some nice pickups to get that backpack. It's really the first thing we want to do because it's so annoying only having a few inventory slots. I forgot to water this thing down here anyway. Now this grass that's right next to us could become problematic. If you want, all right, you can go to the crafting. Let me pick up some stuff. Pick up some stone, for example. And go to crafting. And see, you can make a cobblestone path, right? 
for one stone, you can make one. And I'm just going to make a bunch of this. All right. You see we have cobblestone paths in our inventory right here. And you can lay this down, okay, all around your, oops, not like that, um, your farm. And I like to just frame my garden so that we can avoid weeds. It looks good, too. Now, I have these torches here. You can move these if you want. All right, I'm going to get the scythe out. Remember, not ideal because we don't get anything when we trim the grass like that. But um, in this exercise, what we're doing is just building a path. So we've put a path around everything except the torches. And we have some extra. So remember, you could just use your pickaxe and bust this up. You don't lose it. Same thing with the torches. Use, use the pickaxe and you don't lose it. Now, you do lose the crops when you hit them like I did before. But you can then just fill this back in and then drop your torches, you know, a little bit further to the outside. And this way you can completely enclose your garden in the cobblestone path so that you don't have to worry about the weeds encroaching. And if you need more, all you have to do is just go to crafting, and then it's just a, a one stone for one, so it's really, really easy to get this. Bust this up, this, this, and that. And I'm just going to finish this all the way around. And as you expand your farm, um, you know, your field, you just pick this path back up. And, you know, might want one there. Pretty good. Getting late, it is. I'm happy with this. Sometimes if you want, you can just extend your path like this so it connects to the path out of town, you know? And uh, just kind of give your place a little aesthetic feel. We need to take this scroll over. We don't have enough copper to make another bar. We take the scroll to Gunther. We can go to um, Clint and talk, but we're going to need more copper bars to make tools. And what a day. So. What did we learn? We learned that the bamboo pole cannot take bait. We learned that we need um, to try to complete quests and get 2,000 gold to get that backpack. We've got this scroll that we found in the mines to take. We found the Adventurer's Guild, saw where we could buy equipment, saw the little quests we could do. We made copper bar, and we learned that it's five copper ore and one coal to make these. And we're going to need uh, a significant amount of these to get our tools upgraded, and Clint can tell us exactly how much those things cost. And we got 30 seeds for completing a quest, and we planted them all. So we should have a good amount of crops rolling in eventually. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun, and I hope you're enjoying Stardew Valley. Take care. Actually, before I go, we did fishing. Trying to get that seed, we didn't look. We leveled up our fishing, plus one. So, bonus.